Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a method of sharpening without using the sharpening filters themselves. And we'll see why in a moment. So first of all, I'm going to go here, Control J. I only need to do it twice. I'm going to do one more to put a spare at the bottom, which I'll just turn off for now. For the top one, I Control I to invert it. And I'm now going to go down to Vivid Light. What happens? It goes grey. The whole thing goes grey with the invert on top of an, the original vivid light plane mode. It goes grey. However, when you see grey, you think contrast mode because grey is invisible to contrast mode. So if I shift click this, turn this into a group control G, and now I put this go down to overlay here. It effectively is invisible, so I'm looking through this to the one below. So why would I do that? And the answer is, if just for a moment I turn off the one below to just see the grey, if I go to that inverted layer and put in a Gaussian blur, now if you watch this, click on Preserve After, Stop an Edge Effect, as we turn up the radius, look, it appears, the thing appears. If we zoom into this, what we can see, we can see some couple of interesting things here. One is in a lot of it, there is, you can just see the outline of it like it's a high pass filter. And up here, and I've deliberately let it see this, is you've got some funny coloured effects. So the question is, do those things, what, you know, what's going on here? And we'll just see in a moment, when I put the bottom layer back on again, for a start they just disappear. But what's really happening is there, you've got burnout. So the thing is 100% uh, yeah, white, which makes all the inverting and so on go slightly awry. But when you bring it back, it doesn't lose anything. It just goes back to the original white. So it's not really a problem. So now we've got the radius here as the sharpening. Uh, so if I turn it down, I've got no sharpening. And as I bring it up, I get more an increased sharpening. Yes, there's a bit of noise here. It's increasing that because I want to keep that for a moment. Because I'm going to go down here, I'm just going to put that in on a radius of 1. But I'm going to compare this now with Unsharp and High Pass filtering to see the differences. So I'm going to shift, click on the top one, shift click on the bottom one as well. Control Geogram again, and I'll just call this one Vivid, um, vivid Overlay for Sharpening. I'll take the bottom one, Control J, a couple of times. And this one, I'm going to do a unsharp. And this one, I'm going to do a high pass. So turn off everything except the unsharp layer. Go and put in an unsharp mask. And for this, I'm going to turn the factor right up and just increase the radius. I'm just going to type in there 1. So it's a radius of 1. And I'm going to compare this to the vivid overlay. So immediately you can see here with the vivid overlay off with the unsharp I've got a lot of noise being uh, amplified here. Um, I can affect, reduce that by playing with the, this here so I can reduce that and that's typically what you'll do until the sharpening is, is better. So how about this now? There's a little bit of difference a little bit of light in there with the vivid overlay, but it's quite similar. So let's try the high pass filter. Go to high pass and I'll click on monochrome and then turn the radius again up to one. And go to the blend mode, often use linear light. And so what we can do now is put on the high pass one and then we'll turn on the vivid one. And you can't see any difference. So why would you use this vivid overlay sharpening? And the reason is because you've got more controls. So if I turn off the high pass one, go back to the vivid one, and say within here, I've got things like, I've got the blur there, Gaussian blur. I could use different blurs to get different effects. This is vivid light. What if I change that blend mode? If I went up to here to so I got overlay, soft light, hard light, the vivid light, linear light, 
each, these are each having a different effect. So I got more choice in the way that this is applied. So I can look at my picture and say I like this better. Likewise, up here, when I had the, the overall group overlaying, I got a blend mode here. I can also change and get different effects in some work, some don't. So that where I've got a burnout, it's going to show up on some of them. But if I haven't got burn mode, the rest of it is OK. So I just make sure that in the original that I address anything which is completely white. Anyway, there we go. Thank you very much for watching.